Welcome to my channel! In today's video I will paint an illustration to a story called The Dreams in the Witch House. I put a list of art supplies that I used for the video in the description below. You can prepare your paint and canvas to follow along or just be scared watching. On my color palette I started by mixing titanium white with a tiny dab of black to get light grey color that I will use for the sky. Then I prepared a mix of yellow ochre with titanium white and a little bit of grey that I will use for the moon. I will need emerald green color on my palette also. I need to cover the entire canvas with black and grey paint. First, I apply black at the top of the canvas. Then we'll start to apply and blend the grey to the middle of the canvas moving outwards. Once I covered the canvas with black and grey, I will blend in yellow ochre in the center of the painting. Here is a neat little trick to cover the sky with stars in 10 seconds. I will mix a dab of titanium white with a few drops of water. It should be the consistency of heavy cream. I grab a beauty brush and dip it into the mix. A new toothbrush will serve perfectly too. Holding the brush over the canvas and using a thumb Lightly flick the paint and you can create hundreds of stars. If you want to remove some stars, just wipe them off right away or paint over them. To draw a circle for the moon, I will use a pencil and a round object. For this I'm using a medium sized jar. Painting the moon, I dip my filbert brush in a mix for the moon that I prepared earlier and filled in the outline. After the first coat is dry to the touch, I apply the second coat of the same mix. Now 
Next, with the same filbert brush, I will use grey to blend in some texture for the moon. You can add an even darker grey to the moon until you like how it looks. For the witch house, I'm going to paint a silhouette of the house with a small flat brush using black paint. For the forest in the background, I will use small round brush for tree trunks and fan brush to create pines. When the witch house is dry, I dip flat brush in a grain mix and paint a glare on the roof from the moon. Next, I will paint the witch. I take the smallest round brush I could find. I think the brush I have was originally made for nail art. 
you can use tools that were not meant for painting and it will make your art different and unusual. If you want me to make a video about different tools that I use, let me know in the comments. To paint the broom, I dipped the short side of a palette knife in a black paint and then pressed it to the canvas, leaving a straight line. For windows of the witch house, I use the same mix that I painted the moon. While the windows are drying, I will paint a glare on the trees from the moon, using the grey mix. Let me tell a little bit about the story that inspired me to create this painting. It is a short story that was written by Howard Phillips Lovecraft. He is commonly regarded as one of the most influential horror writers of 20th century. The story follows a young specialist in both mathematics and folklore, Walter Gilman who takes a room in the witch house. The house once harbored Kezia Mason, a witch who disappeared mysteriously from a Salem jail in 1692. Gilman suspects she found the way to travel to a fourth dimension. He also discovers that over the centuries most of the house occupants have died prematurely. At the witch house, he found and read some books about the witch and wanted to learn more about magic. Then he contracted a fever and this is when he started having strange vivid dreams. In his dreams while at the house, Gilman travels to the city of elder things and communes with the evil witch and her rat-like familiar with a human face, Brown Jenkin. Now I stick painter's tape to a canvas. I cut a few short pieces and a few long pieces to make three squares. I pick up yellow ochre and emerald green paint with a medium palette knife and apply it to an outer sides of squares.
using a blow dryer will make the acrylic paint to dry faster. You can wait about 20 minutes if you don't have a blow dryer and then peel off the tape. The painting is ready. Let me know how your painting turned out or ask me questions in the comments below. Please like my video and subscribe to my channel. It will help other people find it and join our artistic adventure. Thank you for watching.